queen to be removed as Barbados head of state after Chinese interference to undermine UK. Queen Elizabeth II is due to be removed as the head of state of Barbados, and a Tory MP has claimed China played a large role in the decision. A senior Tory has claimed pressure from China is driving the decision for Barbados to distance itself from Britain. Tom Tugendat, chairman of the Foreign Affairs Committee said Beijing is attempting to undermine our alliance with other countries. The Tory MP for Tunbridge and Maling told The Times, China has been using infrastructure investment and debt diplomacy as a means of control for a while and it's coming closer to home for us. British partners have long faced challenges from rivals seeking to undermine our alliance. Today we're seeing it in the Caribbean. Some islands seem to be close to swapping a symbolic queen in Windsor for a real and demanding emperor in Beijing. But he declined to elaborate on China's alleged tactics. Charles Parton a fellow at the Royal United Services Institute and former diplomat, said Chinese investment tended to entail influence. Relations between Barbados and China have deepened in recent years. Last year China donated technology equipment including laptops and tablets and in 2017 Beijing gave teaching equipment to the island's schools. Barbados also signed on to China's Belt and Road Initiative in 2019 opening up trade between the two countries. The scheme attempts to establish a new Silk Road by investing in infrastructure in strategic land and maritime locations. British analysts argue the initiative is used in part to help Beijing win votes in international forums such as the United Nations as well as encourage states to break diplomatic ties with Taiwan and switch allegiance to China. Mr. Tugendat's comments come after Dame Sandra Mason, the Barbados Governor-General announced last week the island would remove the queen as its ceremonial head of state. She said the country planned to replace the monarch with its own sovereign head of state to make the nation a republic. Dame Mason said, the time has come to fully leave our colonial past behind. Barbadians want a Barbadian head of state. This is the ultimate statement of confidence in who we are and what we are capable of achieving. Hence. Barbados will take the next logical step toward full sovereignty and become a republic by the time we celebrate our 55th anniversary of independence. If the plan goes ahead, the Queen will leave her role as head of state for Barbados by November 2021. Barbados gained independence in 1966 but has maintained strong relations with Britain ever since. In response to the news, a Buckingham Palace spokesman said, this is a matter for the government and people of Barbados.